All right, so welcome back. And this is called Binary Tree Post Odor Traversal. And it's question 145, and it's an easy traversal question. And so we're going to be traversing a tree in post order. And so I'm already kind of assuming that you know what that is. Um, I think a lot of other places explain it better than me. So I'll let you make sure that you know it and then come back to the video. And I think it'll make more sense. But essentially what it is, is in post order traversal, you go the left, then you go right, and then you finally evaluate to the current node. And so if you look at this simple case, we say, okay, we can't go left, so then we go right, and then we don't even evaluate this one yet. We continue, if we're able to go left or right, we do it. So we go left here, finally we stop here. We can't go left or right anymore, so we evaluate that current node. We recurse upwards, we can't go right from here, so we evaluate this current node. And then once again, we can't go left or right and we evaluate that final root node. So to do this, there's a bit of a trick and I, I didn't quite understand it at first. It took me a little while, but essentially what we're doing is we're gonna do, we're going to evaluate it in the opposite order and we're gonna add it to our output by doing the uh, array function or array method add like first basically, so you're gonna add always at the index zero, and then you're just gonna add like the value of that node in the first index. So although we're evaluating it in reverse order, by always adding that node's value to the first slot here, it's gonna be like we're just adding it in reverse order and then sorting it at the end in a way. So instead of, in other words, of going left, left, right, current. We're just gonna go and then doing each time array dot add node value and just appending it to the last value in the array. Instead, we're gonna go current left or current right left and just adding it always to the first index in our array. Okay, so I, I hope that made sense. You might want to rewatch it, or I think once we write the code, it might make more sense. So let's try that. So what we'll do is we'll take this as a hint that we want to use an array list. So we'll call this output, and we'll just instantiate it. And then the first thing that we're going to want to check is, okay, if our root is null, and this is kind of a typical check you do for these questions, then we just want to return an empty array list. Okay, so if you get this far, we know that that root isn't null, and we actually have something to work with. And so what we'll do is we'll grab a stack, which is the typical data structure that you use for these tree algorithms. And let's see here, we'll just call it stack. And so it's of type tree node, and that's just the kind of node class that we're supplied here. So I'll definitely get familiar with this. All you need to know is that to get the value of the node, you get val. To get the left node and the right node is the right node. So yeah, so let's continue with this. So we're just going to add to our stack our root node, which we know isn't null in this case. And so we want in our while loop, which will perform the majority of our logic here. And just essentially, this is going to be continuously appending our values. And at the end, we're just going to want to return our output. And so we're going to say, OK, while our stack isn't empty, we want to keep evaluating. And so we know that there's still some nodes left in our tree that we need to evaluate. So while well, stack is empty is false, we're going to keep going. And so what we're going to say is, OK, the tree node and so we're going to have a pointer to the current node that we're looking at we'll just call this node or for your understanding we'll call it current node and we'll set it equal to the top of our stack and so now this is where we're going to do that trick where we're going to want to add it in reverse order so in this case we're evaluating like this is kind of like i said before we're going to do it in current right left 
rather than what we should be doing, which is light, left, right, current. So this is the current node like this, and we're gonna add it by using that add first, or like add at index zero that value. So let's do that. So we got our output, and we're gonna say add at the zero index, or index zero. We're gonna add the current node's value. And so just like the, I think it's pre-order traversal, I could be wrong, we're gonna just add left and right if they're not null. So in this case, we're gonna say if the left node isn't null, we're gonna add it to our stack. And do the exact same thing, but for the right node. Okay, so the reason why we're doing it in this order is because it might seem like we're doing current left, right, but we're actually adding them in the opposite order that we want to pop them off in. And so because we're adding left first, we're actually going to evaluate it after the right one because when you add to a stack, right's going to be at the top of the stack. So we're going to pop it off first and we'll be evaluating it next. So it really is that current right left order that which we want okay so let's go ahead and run this see if there's any errors yep and let's just see can't find that symbol oh it's because i want to be using current node and not node here let's try that again and try submitting it just to double check Great, and so success. So yeah, so essentially there's a trick with this. Uh, it just seems to be much easier to evaluate it um, by doing it in the opposite order and then kind of reversing it. So you could actually just either do add the node like normal and just appending the values. And at the end, I think you could do like a collections dot reverse and then just add that uh, array that we're working with. Um, output I believe. I think you could do something like this um, but instead we can just simply always be appending to the front rather than at the end. Okay so I, I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks.